Joining me now is Peter Schiff, the CEO of Euro Pacific Capital, and one of the men who famously predicted the economic crash of 2008 while being laughed at, of course, by many pundits on the mainstream corporate media. Peter, thanks for coming on the show. Oh, thanks for having me on. Firstly, I want to get your take on J.P. Morgan, not really on this news story, uh, meaning that indictment by the DOJ, but what is perhaps an ongoing and a bit less reported story. So after inheriting the short position, J.P. started accumulating all this silver. In fact, now, as we know, J.P. Morgan has the most significant physical silver position of all time. So what gives? What does J.P. know that we don't? Well, I mean, if they're buying silver, I think they're doing the right thing. You know, I think silver's price is going to go a lot higher. But, you know, getting back to uh, all of this uh, market manipulation, you know, this does not vindicate all of the conspiracy theories that have been around for years and years, that there's been a concerted effort on the part of big banks like J.P. Morgan to artificially suppress the price of gold, that the reason the price of gold is not much higher is because of this conspiracy to keep the, the price of gold down, to kind of keep the fiat monetary system going. And that's not what uh, these indictments show. These are simple uh, market manipulations in both directions where the goal is simply to make money. I mean, that is what's happening here. They're trying to rig the markets to make a profit. They're not trying to stop the price of gold from going up. Uh, sometimes they're actually buying gold. They're just trying to make money uh, by having an, an unfair edge. And it's unfortunate, you know, and a lot of this stuff now, if you think that there are people spoofing the precious metals markets, that's nothing compared to what's probably going on in the cryptocurrency markets. That's where you probably see even more widespread spoofing and other types of manipulation going on. Sure. I mean, I understand that you don't think that the primary reason for, you know, gold and silver going down is this market manipulation, right? I understand you're of the position that people just don't understand gold and silver. They don't understand how the Fed works. And that's why these prices are going down. Is that correct? Yeah, and first of all, you know, the price of gold went from under $300 an ounce in 2001 to almost $2,000 an ounce in 2011. So if people were trying to suppress the price of gold, they were doing a pretty bad job because the price went way up. Now, we did have a correction. You know, we went down to almost 1000 but now we've gone up about 50% since then. But, yeah, I think the price should be a lot higher, but it's not, it's not where it is because of manipulation. Uh, it's a lack of understanding on the part of you know investors around the world of the the real uh, situation that's going on economically uh, it's it's too much trust in central banks and fiat money but when that trust ultimately gives way and it will uh, you're going to see a rush to buy uh, precious metals it's already happening now the central banks are buying gold it's not going to be long before it, the investor class uh, follows their lead now are we on our way to seeing the destruction of the US dollar well, we've been on our way to the destruction of the dollar for a long time. In fact, it's taking a lot longer than a lot of people might have thought, myself included. Uh, you know, so we've been able to keep this thing going. Uh, it's a much bigger bubble. But yes, I mean, if you can read the writing on the wall, it's quite clear what's going on. Most people are in denial, uh, but those who aren't are preparing. And even if you pair, prepare too early, uh, that's fine, because it's much better than preparing too late, which means you're not prepared at all. Peter Schiff, thank you so much for being with me today.